In today's video, we are going to talk about whether it was a mistake for me to buy an already built car, an already built Ford Mustang GT. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a little bit now, you will know that I've picked up this car about two months ago and uh, now I'm having a lot of questions that I hope you will help me answer. I will tell you what I found out about the car and uh, what I love and what I do not love about the car and together we will make a decision. Like I said, I bought this car about two months ago. The story behind this car is um, I was shopping for a 2012 Ford Mustang GT500 and I saw one in a local dealership near me. I called the dealership, we set up everything and I was on my way there to test drive the car and then uh, see if I can buy it. Halfway to the dealership, the salesman gave me a call and was like, you know what, someone just got in and purchased that car. I was pretty pissed, but um, he was like, he actually traded in a pretty cool vehicle, which will probably price at half what that GT500 cost. So if you are still interested, uh, give us just a few days to go over the car and then we will let you come and test drive it. I was pretty pissed, I turned around and then uh, five days later, they called me, I drove down there and this was the car. Uh, it had a Vortec V3 supercharger, cam, long tube headers, uh, Flowmaster exhaust, pretty loaded. I mean, the car itself was a, is a base model, but uh, it has a Ram Air scoop. And, you know, like I said, I was pretty impressed when I drove it. So I was like, you know what? It's half the price. We are, it's during the pandemic. Uh, spending that kind of money on the GT500 II maybe would not have been a very good financial um, investment. At least this one, even if I lose later, I mean, I would not have spent much in the first place. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I need a sports car right now. I'm going to buy it. And then uh, we had the deal done. I bought it. So I started learning the car and I, I made previous videos saying to never, never, never buy an already built vehicle unless you know who did it before, who owned the car before and stuff like that. In my case, I didn't, I kind of broke my own rule. And uh, as luck will have it, one day I posted the, fo the, the video of this car messing around with another friend. Turns out the previous owner of the car, we have a mutual friend. He reached out to that mutual friend who reached out to me and I spoke to the guy, he gave me a list of what was done to the car, it made me a little confident and I, I was pretty happy about it. He even said one day we could run, he wanna see how his new DG500 compared to his old car. The problem of having this car is, uh, despite all the the thing he did to the car, you know, supercharger and stuff like that, there is just some, some uh, parts that were left stuck, which doesn't make any sense. Whether he took it off before he traded the car in, then again, if he did, why didn't he take away the supercharger as well? I mean, that thing alone was like seven grand. The car still have stock shocks, stock lower control, uh, stock control arms, and uh, it has four temp gear, which I, it's taking me like a long time to, to, to figure out this car. I mean, I'm working really hard to learn how to launch it. The clutch is pretty terrible. And I don't know if, I don't think the clutch can match the power of the vehicle. I mean, the car is making 480 to 500 wheel horsepower and it's still a stock clutch. 
So, I mean, the guy told me he never drag race the thing, he always roll race, which will make sense, but uh, I'm trying to really figure out the car, which led me to this question. Should I, should I just sell this car and then buy something that I will build myself or just keep learning it and uh, do my best to know it and then do a few mods? Because as it sits right now, the car needs a few things. What I've noticed so far, and if you've seen a few races I had to do with this car, uh, it definitely needs tires. It needs tires badly. Uh, and this car looks like it was set up more for the look than the actual performance. That front splitter keeps scratching. I'm gonna take that thing off before I break it. Um, it needs tires pretty bad. It needs a new clutch pretty badly because the, I mean, the, it's not that the clutch is bad. It just cannot handle the the power that the car is making right now. And I'm pretty much gonna go with like a McLeod uh, twin clutch or something like that. They rated for like eight and wheel horsepower, which is way more than what my car is making right now. Other than that, I need some suspension mod. I need some lower control arm. And uh, I mean, th this car has 410 gears. It's a pain to drive, very tricky to launch. Get it right, you satisfied. Get it wrong, I mean, everything goes wrong. It keep locking me out of gears. It, it just, I mean, it's a nightmare right now. So this is my question, guys. Should I invest more money into the parts that I just mentioned? New clutch, new tires, uh, con lower control arms and uh, pretty much a whole suspension setups which in my estimation it will already be over two or three grand or just sell the thing as it is and then buy uh, a car that I will build myself so should I spend time learning this vehicle because I've already spent money buying it uh, or should I just buy a new car keep in mind that this car at 500 wheel horsepower is pretty much maxed out right now you can't make more than that and be reliable so and i don't want to build the engine uh, anyway so let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think i should do Thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you are stopping by for the first time do not forget to subscribe i will see you in the next video